Oh man, it's been 14 years since this came out, and I don't think it'll ever get old. I mean, the game is starting to get a little dated though. Maybe it's time to pack it away and move on to something else. It's been a great 14 years. Thank you, X-Gen. I'll always remember Defend Your Castle. Wait, what's this? <gasps> Holy shit, guys, Defend Your Castle's on Steam! What does everyone think of my 100% legit, not at all overacted response? Was it convincing? Should I prep my Oscar speech? Really though, how's it going, guys? My name is Graham, and welcome to Defend Your Castle. Classic, awesome online flash game. One of like the earliest games that I remember falling in love with online. Thank you to XGen Studios for all the memories. This came out on the Wii back in 2008, so five years after the original, but still nine years ago. I never actually was able to play the original Wii one. Now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, no warning, they just dropped this game on Steam. How awesome is that? I'm gonna have to get used to like the regular heroic, definitely heroic, I'm a hero. I'm gonna have to get used to this new art style where it's all like scrabble pieces and cardboard cutouts and stuff where it looks like it was made for South Park or like a little homemade thing. Their, their heads are all buttons and stuff. I'm gonna have to get used to that, but otherwise it seems like it's more or less gonna be the same game I'm gonna be able to get used to it very quickly. How? <laughs> oh, the sun's setting. That's a convenient way of keeping track of different uh, the time of day, I suppose. I think it's a good thing I'm playing on heroic mode. Look how damn good I am at this. Castle. Defended. <laughs> we got a, a calculator keeping track of our score here. Like a library card for our kills and everything. Defended. Check mark. Let's move on. Fortifying walls is important, but archery is what I really want. So people unfamiliar with the original there, you can buy the wizards, which are really strong. They, they let you cast spells, I think. The archers, which will just shoot people. Demolition lab. Pretty sure that just sends out people with bombs strapped to their chest to blow people up. And the stonemasons, I'm pretty sure they repair your, your castle, whereas normally you can only do that in this menu. They can repair it on the field. Can't really afford anything right now. Oh, the Pit of Conversion. Oh, I forgot about the Pit of Conversion. I didn't remember that I have to unlock that. I'm pretty sure when you have the Pit of Conversion, you pick people up and you intentionally drop them in your castle, and then you can assign them to different jobs like archery and stonemasons and things like that. Right now, I'm just tossing around these regular guys, the regular stick men, but it eventually starts introducing like giant guys or guys with battering rams, things like that, so I want to get to that point. Oh, the playing cards are my total points so far. <laughs> I just thought that was like a random decorative thing on the screen. Maybe my favorite addition so far is just the setting sun. Also how quick the rounds are. Because in the original game, the rounds are, are very slow. Sometimes you don't see an enemy for like five seconds. Like I said, this game was made by X-Gen Studios, and a lot of people might not immediately recognize that, but I guarantee... Ah, here we go. Here's our battering ram, guys. They carry popsicle sticks, and I think they're a little bit harder to smash. They have to be thrown a little higher, maybe. Uh, you might not think you recognize that name right away, but if you don't know them from Defend Your Castle, you probably know them from Fishy. If you don't know Fishy, then you probably know Stick RPG. And if somehow you don't know any of those, then you probably know Motherload or Super Motherload. The guys have been around for a long time and they make fantastic, very memorable games. Most recently here on the channel, I played through The Low Road, their point and click adventure game. So I'm going to be including a link to that down below or in the, in the end cards there. Just a little tease. To keep you interested, I'm too away from being able to afford the, the Pit of Conversion, but I don't think I need it right now anyways. Ah, no, shit, I need, I need the Pit of Conversion before I can bother with anything else. Whoa, changing environments, changing seasons. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> I wonder how many I've smashed so far, a hundred maybe? Funny, this game has medals, but not Steam achievements. I bet that'll be incoming. Some people like me will, will request it, and they'll be forced to add it. Finally, this game came on the Wii nine years ago, and yet somehow never made it to PC. Come on, I'm, they're getting too many too fast. They're getting, they're getting way too close. I need archers. Stressing me out. Got myself a pity conversion. Improved conversion. Ah, it just converts things more quickly. I didn't realize I would be able to upgrade that. Shit, now I gotta get seven thousand more. <laughs> Still paint tin or something is the uh, is the pity conversion now. Can I just stick you right in there? Oh, nice. I can even I can convert the uh, the more powerful guys too, rather than just the standard stick men. 
I might as well start building up a supply of converted guys. That's these little blue, blue face guys under my health bar are. Blue guys are friendly. Oh, I get it. You're, you're. They were originally blue in the old game too, but now the the joke is that you're just like painting them. <laughs> might as well get a supply of them stocked up for once I can actually afford the the archery range though. The level ends before the conversion's finished, then it doesn't count. I'm waiting for you. In you go. <laughs> it's just so hard to get tired of chucking these stupid little stickmen up in the air like that. I kind of... I just realized in the original game it was a lot gorier. They kind of explode a little bit when they hit the ground. This was like a friendly little Wii game for, for children, I suppose. Children of all ages, one might say. That includes everyone. <laughs> but I just realized they had to tone down the violence. It's not necessary to my enjoyment. But I would kind of enjoy if there was uh, a mode where you could turn it on. Like that you could in include the bloody, the gore if you wanted. If you're a sicko like I am. But obviously because everything else is arts and crafts it wouldn't be blood. It would be like little splotches of jam or something silly. Like they could texture it and make it like red foil or something. I think that would look kind of neat. There we go. Archery range. Sweet. This is when things start getting legit, is because now I got this little flag here, and I can start positioning archers here. And I'm just going to stick a bunch of them all at once, because they're super, super useful to have. Oh shit, there's like a tank guy. I do not remember at all what you do with those. Oh, you just click on him and explode him. Alright, maybe that wasn't the type of enemy that I thought it was. Oh, I get it. They're, they're rolling. It's a guy rolling like those little caps. Like that you you have in cap guns. I think they used to be guys with TNT strapped to their chest, but now they're just little cap gun guys. I like it. And you can get chain reaction explosions. I also just realized that all these sound effects, maybe not 100%, but definitely the explosions is someone going, <laughs> which I always, I always love like homemade sound effects like that when they're done well. And these ones seem like they're done well. I'm not going to worry about patching or like investing in... Wait, select an archer? Oh, okay, you can you can use hotkeys. Oh look, someone must have got shot. I didn't have to throw that guy. But you can use hotkeys to assign converted units. I guess when your mouse gets really busy doing this, that'll be nice to have. Oh crap, I'm finally actually gonna have to start investing in repairs and stuff. That's exactly what I was trying to say before, but I got distracted. Is that I haven't had to bother with any of that before. Ugh, I need more archers, help me out guys. I'm pretty sure in the original there was no limit to the amount of archers and stuff you could have. So you could really get like 200 of them and they could do most of the work for you. Crap. Crap. No! My red plaid is becoming more colorful plaid. you think red plaid would be the bad one. you think that would be the one that gets revealed since, you know, red is b bad in, in terms of video game health measuring. Save. Save that progress. Oh shit, look, there's so many different medals to get. Earn 10,000 points. Defeat 100 plane invaders. Defeat 50 rammers. That's all I got so far. Repair all. What if I just fortify to begin with? It does repair it the tiniest bit. That doesn't make a huge difference now, does it? All right, you better repair. I don't have the money for it. 5,000 to repair all. Oh, you can repair just individual little increments. There we go. All right, things are getting a little tougher. Why am I suddenly so good this round? I'm doing fantastic. Did I hit some sort of tipping point if I have, I have like a ton of archers now? I wish that there was actually like a guy standing on the tower that you could see him shooting. Or at the very least that you could see little arrows flying across on the screen. Maybe that is happening and it's just so infrequent because I have so few archers. I would sooner invest in, in wizards or stonemasons, but the next one that I can actually afford is the demolition. So I probably want to buy that one next. Hey, juggler, what the hell did I do to get that one? That was a gold achievement rather than the, the bronze ones I've had before. I also just realized it's a loony, whereas uh, these other ones are like pennies. That busting caps and all these little stick men's butts. Oh, crap, I just realized I could invest in so many archers and I just hadn't been doing it. Improved archery? The archers will shoot explosives and they have a chance to detonate their arrows? Jesus. It's a little intense, doesn't it? Oh, I also just realized with the demolitions lab, I think every time I send out a guy, that that it costs one of these blue guys. So it's like, uh, it's it's not stationed at the tower. You're actually expending one of them. So it's really helpful when you start fighting stronger units. 
But right now, I don't have, like, a continuous enough supply of these converted dudes for me to really want to do that. I might have to wait till I have the improved conversion pit for something like that. Oh, we finally got the big guys. I don't remember. I think you just have to click on them a bunch. You just, they, they, you knock them over and then you give them another little click and I think it just takes several clicks to get them. Crap, 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 crap. All right, this suddenly just got impossible. It's so difficult. I like the little googly eye heads though. Those are fun. Throw, throw everything. Throw everything faster. Oh, crap. Screw you, skateboard skull. Retry, that went terribly for me. All right, Demolition Lab. I am going to have to suck it up and buy that and potentially use some of these guys as Demolition Men. Everything was going so fine and suddenly I just lost so badly. Oh crap, I just invested in an archer and I meant to I meant to send out a Demolition Guy. This is so frantic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Demolition Guy. No, I didn't get the big guy with that though. That's what I was trying to do was hit the big guy. Quit kicking my walls, big guy. I can't handle it. Sunset faster, set faster. Yes. Use your caps against you. Eh, eh, getting the hang of it. Yeah, but my hand is exhausted. Holy crap, my fingers are cramping up so badly. What do I even have so far? Have five invaders in the air simultaneously. That's what Juggler was. And play for 10 minutes total. Is that only how long I've been at it? Crap. Gotta, gotta want to keep like one or two of these guys on hand, I think. To try, oh, maybe you can see a little arrow. I think I saw a little something just shoot out there. Keep one or two demolition guys on hand so I can take care of the big guys when they get too close. Oh, I think those little bubble popping sounds are the sounds of the arrows being shot. That was not obvious at all before. Yeah, that was a good timed, good timed explosion. Yes, I love when the archers shoot the big guys instead of the little ones. You guys don't bother with the little ones. Grab the big dude. He's gonna he's gonna ruin us. Must survive through another day. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. There's so little time left. Ah, ah. There. Just barely, I think. I just want wizards. I think I just threw a guy and he landed in the pit of conversion. I don't think I placed him there, so that's handy. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, where is it? Where's my mouse? Oh, my mouse was in the wrong spot. Jesus. Trying that again. Try and be more precise with my clicks this time around. I mean, if I keep failing, I think I get to keep all the archers I invested in, so I can slowly over time just build up enough archers to be helpful. But I think that's, uh, short-sighted. I gotta try and actual, actually beat rounds so I can earn enough points to properly advance in the game here. Jesus. Ugh. This is exhausting. Must. Kill. No, too many, too many getting out of hand. I must survive. Less worried about killing now. Priorities changing. Ooh, ooh. That's a lot of things killed. <laughs> I only killed one of those big guys. What the hell? <sighs> I'm just barely going to be able to afford the masons, but like, if I survive one more round. Oh god, they're ch chewing through my stuff so quickly there. There's way too many of them all at once. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Get the hell out of here. Jesus. Oh, the sun's nowhere near being set. What the hell am I even doing? How am I still alive? I just shouldn't be. I just shouldn't be alive. That's the only answer. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make it. I need you to get out there and defend. Defend, demolition man. Sacrifice yourself for your people. Oh god. I must be so, so close to dying this one. Uh, uh, no, must not. Hands so cramped. Can't, can't let anyone get any closer. This is the crampiest my hand's ever been. I feel like my face cam is probably like isolated on one weird part of my head because I'm probably leaning in so much. I'm getting all stressed out and shit here. Oh man. And around with less than 10% castle health. Where was I at? It's like 5%. But stone masons. And repair all. Nope, it's not worth repair all when I can just do that. <laughs> Fortify the hell out of those walls, though. Might as well spend a bunch on that, right? Oh, dead. Dead hands. Oh, crap. I still got to invest a couple in there. All right. Hopefully, hopefully two is enough to make even a tiny difference. I, just the slightest difference would be much appreciated right now. Help us stay above water here without having to rely strictly on demo men. 
shoot the big guy. Shoot the big guy. What is everyone doing? <laughs> you gotta send out a demo, man, if no one's gonna shoot the big guys. Too much going on. Cannot stay above. I'm gonna be risky and try and invest more in the repairman. Hopefully that'll have some long-term payoff for me. Okay, for this next one though, I'm probably gonna have to go demo men. No! No, there's too many! Too many things! Stop him! Stop him! Someone shoot him! <laughs> I feel like I'm in the battle of, what is it, Minas Tirith, Gondor? Which one is it? Oh, good, you guys can shoot the bottle cap guy and make them explode? Do that more often. Where Aragorn's shouting at him and being like, Take out the guy with the torch! Because he's the only one capable of running the torch. No one else is gonna pick that up and run it for him. Oh, I'm so far away from being able to afford anything. I think wherever I die next... Ooh, look at all those eights of spades. Wherever I die next might have to be where I... I call this good. My hands are dying. Can I just invest in there? Look at that, look at that. They do do a pretty good job of repairing things, actually. I think if you get like a crazy amount of those, they can keep you afloat like indefinitely. Well, indefinitely until more difficult enemies start showing up, things like that. There are limits, of course. Oh god, I didn't I didn't have a guy to I didn't have a guy to call forward for the demo team. I'm pretty much screwed this round. I shouldn't have invested both those guys in the the repairman right away, because now I can't defend myself at all. Alright, the first time I die twice in a given round is when I set this aside. You guys just do your job and heal up that tiny little bit there before before the enemies show up, please. I could really benefit from that quicker conversion pool, because this is slow going. What the hell? Oh crap, I died again. I didn't realize how close I was to dying there. I should have realized because of how much they were kicking the crap out of that building there. Oh, I didn't even make it to where you get wizards, but my hand is dead. I've been playing this for what? Half an hour, and my hand is dead. <sighs> X-Gen Studios. Well, there you have it, guys. Defend your castle. Finally made its way onto Steam. If you're looking for more X-Gen goodness, I will have that link to the low road somewhere in the bottom quadrant of this end screen here. If you're interested in Defend Your Castle, it did just come out, and there is a launch discount, so if you want it, go buy it now. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.